All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk Wonder Woman. See, I keep on telling you guys certain things, but you guys won't listen to me. All right, and I'll do a follow-up video on this video to show you the advertising progress of Wonder Woman. But first and foremost, Warner Brothers has put out another TV spot of Wonder Woman. It's titled, as you can see, Bang Bang. Now, if you've watched Bang Bang, you would know that that TV spot is really just the Wonder Woman Gotham sneak peek video. It's just that, really. Just retitled. So they haven't put out anything really new. But guess what? Bang Bang has been out less than an hour. It's saying an hour ago, but it's really less than an hour ago. Has already gotten 23,000 views. Okay? Remember when it first came out, it did 200 and something thousand views, right? So this is doing very, very well. And guess what? It's no new material, folks. And I'll do a follow-up video, and we'll see how high that rises. By the way, the trailer Wonder Woman Goddess is now past 600,000 views. Past 600,000 views. That marketing campaign they had over the weekend where they did Together, Power, and Goddess is the most successful campaign Wonder Brothers has done so far. Again, I come from facts. I don't want to hear speculation. I wouldn't be surprised if this trailer, Bang Bang, which is titled, it has structure. You see what I'm saying? It has structure. It's one minute long. I wouldn't be surprised if Bang Bang does better than Goddess. And guess what? There will be no new material. It's stuff that people, some people saw. But this is going out to a wider audience. I'll show you something else that you guys probably didn't process. When the heads up came up for the, te the teaser after Gotham, 1, 102,000 people looked at that heads up. It was only seven seconds. So it's how wide you can go with something. Advertising is about informing as many people as possible. So Warner Brothers doesn't have to put out anything new. They just need to put out the same thing, but make sure you get it in front of more people and more people. It's not about putting out new material. It's about getting the material to people so they can see it. Finally, Wonder Woman is not Deadshot. Not Suicide Squad. While Suicide Squad was a movie that people wanted to see, it had to have a lot more advertising. Wonder Woman is a worldwide known, recognized name. The Suicide Squad was not. So Warner Brothers actually, if they're smart, they will invest in toys. They will move through the line of uh, activities. They'll give still photos for people to put out there. And they'll just recycle the usual TV ads. Because all people need to know, Wonder Woman? When is it? When's it coming out? Is it anything good? That's all people want to know. And then they'll go into the cinema and watch it. And believe you me, before Wonder Woman comes out, critical reviews will bring Wonder Woman into the public eye again. Whether they're negative or positive, people are going to know about Wonder Woman. So, at the end of the day, it's really simple. The ad campaign just needed to wow people, and it's done that. And now you just have to maintain and extend your ad campaign to as wide an audience as is humanly possible. It's common sense. So, having said that, we'll see how Wonder Woman progresses. I'll follow up on this video to tell you how Bang Bang goes. I'll come back this afternoon. I'll follow up on this video probably tonight, maybe tomorrow. All right? Remember, Bang Bang is nothing new. Bang Bang is just the Wonder Woman Gotham teaser. Now, if Bang Bang does exceptionally well, then it means they don't need to put out new material all the time, especially very frequently. They have enough material. They just need to mix it around and mix it around, sort it around, mix it around. Because people, not if you're trying to get to new people, they obviously haven't seen all of this other stuff. 
It's common sense. All right. You guys have a great one.